these 13 individuals connected to Vladimir Karamor's case, mm -hmm. what, what is the government committed to doing? Okay, well, if we go back a bit, Abigail, as you know, uh, I met uh, at lunchtime uh, Bill Browder, uh, also Erwin Cutler, and uh, the wife of Vladimir Karamudza, uh, Eugenia. And um, the goal was really to talk about Vladimir Karamudza, his case, what's going on, and how we can help. And so today, we announced officially the first step which would be really to make sure that we're targeting the disinformation agents that are putting Vladimir Karamudza's life at risk, but also that are spreading lies and, and putting his family in danger. So that was the first step. And we are working now on the next step, which will also to be targeting those who are per persecuting Vladimir Karamudza. So can you say that you're committing to sanctioning those 13 people, the judges, the police officers, the prosecutor in this case? We're working on making sure that we're targeting those who per persecuted him, so that's what I can tell you today. And just a comment on, on sanctions, and Canadians have been hearing about sanctions since February. Are yes. Are you confident that this will have an impact? Yes, it does have an impact, because the goal of Canada with this meeting and with these sanctions is to send a strong message to the world and bring other countries to the table and I'm confident we can show leadership again on this issue. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm here today to uh, respond to the horrific comments that we have seen coming from the new Premier of Alberta, Danielle Smith. Um, the Conservative Premier, it's recently come to attention, has basically said that, that Ukraine should roll over, that they should submit to Russia on the world stage. This is incredibly dangerous rhetoric. This is incredibly painful for Ukrainian Canadians, for people around the world that have, that have worked so hard to support Ukrainians. This is incredibly painful for the heroic Ukrainians who have been battling for eight months for their own country, their, their sovereign country. I condemn those comments, and I want to make it very, very clear that new Democrats will always stand with Ukraine, will always push the government to do more for Ukraine. And I would hope that the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada is prepared to condemn the comments made by his counterpart, prepared to condemn someone who he has called a friend, uh, and, and make sure that in the House of Commons, all parliamentarians are standing with Ukraine. Thank you. At this point, what we're focusing on is getting the humanitarian supports there. You know, I'm going to be talking in the House of Commons very, very shortly about how we have not delivered our humanitarian commitments. You know, we had an MP that talked about the idea that, that Canada's response has been simply um, unexplainable. You know, we want to see the humanitarian aid go out. We want to see the supplies that Canada's promised get to Ukraine. We want to see a sanction regime. You know, we are eight months into this, and the, the failure to have any sort of uh, transparency, accountability, enforceability with regards to sanctions has been appalling. So there's more that needs to be done on this. The, the other conversations around Ukraine's role in the world, Ukraine's place in the world, I think those are things that need to happen and I need, think they need to happen as we go forward, as we, you know, after we've actually provided those supports for Ukraine that give them the, the tools they need to, to triumph over Russia right now. Because if I'm correct, the comments that Danielle Smith has made was referring to NATO and she was saying that um, Ukraine should remain neutral. It's what I understood for the small... How do, you re how do you remain neutral when your country has been invaded, when there is a genocide being committed against your people? So what is, and I, I'm just re-asking the position because I think that the, the question was asked to her, but, but I would have to re-listen to it again, but what is your position concerning NATO? Because if you're not, if you're kind of criticizing her comments, I would like to know what is the NDP position on NATO? Well, like I said, like I, like I just answered, our position is, right now, we need to get the support to Ukraine as fast as we can. We can't be dragging our feet on things like sanctions, humanitarian aid, and supplies. That can't happen. In terms of the bigger geopolitical conversations, those are conversations that we will have. But right now, what we need to do is everything we can to support Ukraine. And we need to call out every single person who is a Putin apologist like Danielle Smith. Thank you. Thank you.